Hey, First Family, it's Pastor David here. Grab you a cup of something warm and yummy, and let's talk about some go and tell. And as always, while you do that, don't forget, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to comment uh, down below, and also uh, share videos and the channel uh, with uh, others so that they can uh, have access to this content as well. So today I want to just give some Love Local updates. Uh, this past Saturday, uh, which was October the 28th, uh, we had our Love Local Fall Blitz, and uh, we have been kind of working up to this, uh, equipping and sending out our church members to go into the different neighborhoods around the Woodbridge area uh, to do something, a little activity, uh, to connect with their neighbors or co-workers or classmates, their friends, uh, and just really begin going deeper in relationship so that there were opportunities that will open up over time for uh, serious gospel conversations, serious gospel sharing, and pointing people to the the ultimate um, the ultimate need they have in their life, and that is salvation through Jesus Christ. And so it was it was a great weekend. Um, it was unseasonably warm this last. Uh, October, I'll confess, uh, we've planned at our Love Local um, for typical end of October Northern Virginia temperatures. So we had chili and gumbo and s'mores and hot dogs in the fire pit. Uh, and it was like in the 80s and a little bit um, uh, humid, <laughs> but it was okay. It was actually a beautiful day, and that did not deter any of our love local activities from having a great time. And so I actually have some stories. Uh, you know, we sent out a link at the end of the evening on Saturday to those who had registered, the hosts of each love local activity that registered their uh, their activity, and they were able to tell a story. Uh, they were able to share that link with others on their team so they could share a story. And we've gotten some back. We pray that we get more back. Um, but I just want to kind of share some details uh, with you. Again, we're not, I'm not going to be using any names. I'm just going to kind of share just some highlights. So um, we're just kind of keeping this very anonymous. Uh, but again, thank you for, number one, getting out there and loving your community. Number two, for uh, letting us get this chance to celebrate with you uh, what God is doing in these relationships. Because remember, Love Local, that's just step one. It's all the other steps that are yet to come as you uh, continue to reconnect with these individuals and go deeper and further in your relationship and bringing them closer and closer to faith in Jesus Christ. So, Let's take a look at just some highlights. I've got them here on my phone. Uh, so let me open these up. All right, time out. Let me, let me do the 40 plus thing here. All right, if anyone's laughing, you'll also eventually get over 40 as well. So get ready. Um, Okay, so this story, uh, they were connecting with their neighborhoods. They invited a lot of uh, their neighbors on their street. A number of neighbors uh, came. They were happy with the turnout, and it was really cool. Uh, they, uh, the, an FBCW member, uh, get this, uh, actually was able to reconnect with a neighbor. Um, the, the FBCW member was not in that neighborhood. They were part of the team uh, that did the Love Local, and uh, a neighbor came, and they were like, oh my goodness, it's you. And they were like, oh yeah, it's you. And they, their, their kids had gone to the same daycare, and so they knew each other from like uh, years years ago. And um, they were able to reconnect and, you know, see how it's been and, you know, what's what your, how's your kid doing? And uh, both kids were in high school at the time. It was really, really cool. Uh, and so, yeah, you never know when you do something like this, uh, who is going to, to, to connect. Um, another story. Um, yeah, just, just a, a nice little activity. Um, 
Uh, folks came out, had a really good time, were able to connect with, with their neighbors, um, get to know one another. Uh, and they said that I, and actually a family um, uh, having interacted with our members uh, showed interest in coming and visiting our service. So there you go. Um, Great little tidbit from that story. Uh, another story came in uh, that uh, this group, they had made a really tremendous effort to invite a lot of people and they had a great turnout, more than they expected, which is exciting. Uh, they were able to do just a lot of sharing. Uh, they did a lot of inviting. Uh, for those that were there in person, but also to our upcoming Christmas activities here at FBCW. Um, but uh, yeah, they're already they've got they've got other connections um, that are coming up, and so again, just a, a great report of what God did through that. Uh, here's another story um, where again, just a. A really good turnout. Again, you know, it's not about the numbers. It's really about the the value that's brought um, to these events by connecting with people. So you could have five people at a live local activity, and you could go just as deep with them. Um, and in fact, deeper than you ever could having you know hundreds or thousands of people on on a on a on one location. And so that's that's one of the big things that, that make love local the way we do it uh, as individuals and when we come together as teams. So strategic because it allows us to do the very things that God has commanded us to do. Um, and that is to make disciples and uh, it, it removes the at arm's length um, distance that we typically have from bigger events and it puts us really face to face with the lost. And so uh, I love the fact that um, you do have some of these where uh, our folks got to interact with many people uh, in a more intimate environment. And in fact, in, in this particular Love Local activity, uh, there were a, a, a few families uh, that practiced a different religion. And um, so they were able to interact with believers and get to know believers at a different level, uh, which which is really exciting and it says here this is really cool uh, they were getting ready to bless the food of course in the name of Christ and one of the uh, families from this other religion uh, interrupted and said hey would you mind since you're praying uh, praying for my grandmother she has cancer uh, so what an what a amazing opportunity uh, to be able to pray for this family and their grandmother who has cancer uh, all because um, we were out in our communities meeting people who otherwise would not come to our church campus. And so uh, the goal here, again, with all of these is not to get people here physically, it's to get them before the very throne of God where they can, they can hear and understand the gospel and Lord willing, with the power of the Holy Spirit, choose to put their faith in Jesus Christ. So I just want to say uh, just a big thanks. Uh, I, I, again, I hope we get more stories because I find these so encouraging. I hope you do too. Nothing that was done this past Saturday was complicated. Nothing that was done this past Saturday was over the top. Uh, it wasn't, um, you know, it was risky. It was just very simple, very relational, and anyone could do it. I think every Love Local activity had a mix of extroverts, introverts, and people that were kind of in between, and people were able to just visit and get to know their neighbors and their friends or coworkers, and God opened up some doors, and that's the whole point. Again, you start with those connections, and then you start building on them, and so I know for our Love Local, uh, we, we left uh, that event uh, having several requests from our neighbors, let's do more of this as a street. Absolutely, we will do it. Uh, and so excited about that. Um, you know, sometimes you give an invitation, but sometimes you receive an invitation. And so in that case, uh, the invitation was actually received to us to, hey, please, let's, let's, this is great. Let's do more of it. Um, let's get to know each other as neighbors. And through that, we'll, we will definitely leverage those opportunities to make Christ known. Uh, so I just want to say thank you for just a great a Saturday event. We were 
various places throughout Woodbridge. So many people have got a chance to go deeper with their neighbors. And it's a beautiful thing. And in time, and it may take quite a while, but that's okay. But in time, we will see some of these relationships begin to bear significant spiritual fruit uh, as people uh, get a chance to encounter Christ through the witness of our church members and Lord willing come to faith in him. Uh, and so that's what we want to see. So listen, take what we've done in a more formal structured way here in October and then think individually. Now that uh, if you participated, especially, you've had a chance to get to know some people. Uh, maybe you were in your neighborhood. Maybe you went to someone else's neighborhood to be part of the team. It doesn't matter. Think about the upcoming holidays, Thanksgiving, uh, even Veterans Day before that. Uh, Thanksgiving, and of course, all of Christmas and things of that nature. What can you do to connect with your neighbors, your coworkers, your friends, uh, your classmates to start a relationship, and then see that begin to build, to grow, and to deepen for the sake of the gospel. And so let's practice that. Uh, you've already seen what can happen when we work together in these little small teams. Um, just, guys, let's keep it up. Let's do more and more of this. Let's, let's kind of Let's make Christ known in our communities because we went outside our four walls to let him be known and glorified. And as Christ is lifted up, he says, I will draw all men to myself. And so if we want people to come close to Christ, we need to exalt him. And that means we have got to get out there where the lost are and continue to love local as we make disciples, as we go and tell. And God, as, as he opens up doors for us to do this here, we continue to look at the ways he wants us to engage uh, globally. But it all comes down to that. Building those relationships, using that relationship to share the gospel. And in a relationship of trust and love, the gospel can be shared, the gospel can be received, and Lord willing, the gospel can be believed and people will come to faith in Christ. So love you first family. Thanks so much for all that you did. Keep sending in those stories. There is a link in the comments below uh, where you can uh, share your story. If you did not receive a link, but you're like, hey, I've got something that I want to share. It was amazing. And I want the, the, to encourage others with it. Please do so. And again, as we, as we leave out this video, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, and share. And we'll talk to you again next time. But in the meantime, keep on keeping your eyes fixed on Christ as we make disciples, as we go and tell.